Hello and welcome to PCSimulators.org. Today it's Fernbus and in particular the Comfort class. So let's get going. Click on uh, first of all. I want to click on settings and make sure that I've got a few things sorted. Um, game. Let's see. Uh, force feedback. I wonder if that works. Oh, it's on anyway. So we'll try that. Click back and uh, click on back again. And we are going to click start game. And uh, we're going to go for Korea. And we are going from Heidelberg to Mannheim, which I set up earlier. So click on next and click on realistic. We get our characters customized. We have this guy with a green pulley and that guy with a green shirt and uh, that female with an orange tie and a green shirt or green blouse, should I say. And um, we'll cl click on this guy, the uh, pullover man. Click back. And um, right, these are the comfort class buses. So if I go back one, yeah, that's the Neil Plan Skyliner, which isn't uh, in this review because we reviewed that. In another video so look on our channel for that so let's have a look comfort class s515 hd this is the comfort class coaches we were looking at today the 516 hd with their uh, six wheels that's the difference i think between those two and then we have a 516 slash two so i'm not quite sure what the difference is there with that one and the previous one except for the uh wheels and the 517 hd that's that one and the 519 HD, I think that's the last one, is it? Yep, yep, that's it. It goes back to the other one then. Of course, you can customize these by clicking customize and you can change the number plate. So we'll put that to PC Sims. Oh, didn't do it, did it? PC Sims, and you can see that on the front, oh, it's about that wrong. On the front, it changed to PC Simulators. Well, PC Sim. Okay, so uh, let's see. we got everything on as we need. Click on start game. And that should load us and take us to the coach. Okay, here we go. So this is the best that we chose, the 519, I believe. It's got six wheels. Let's have a look at it around the front. That's the front of it. Go around the side. And uh, around the back. Let's go inside the through the rear and have a look at the rear. Uh, there's a door here and we can't open that door so it won't let me open the door. Have a look at the seats are nicely done. Yeah, the material looks good, the textures look really good. You can see a few of those creases, the seat belt as well. The only thing I notice is this is a little bit jagged but um, not a big problem. That's the handle there. Um, the rest looks really nicely done. The luggage compartment. Can't sit in any of these seats though. Can't interact with anything in the coach. This is a large coach, and look at the size of it. Okay, let's close that window. I can't interact with that either. Okay, let's close that door. Move to the front. And there you go. And this is the front. Let's have a look at the dashboard. Plenty of dials and buttons on here, which we'll have a look at shortly. What they do. Okay, so let's do what it says and click on Z. We're going to Mannheim. Yep, that's right, we are. And click on E. Okay, we start the engine and put our air conditioning on. And press and release the hold foot brake. And uh, put the gear in by doing page up. Lose the parking brake and off we go. So we've got to go to the first stop and um, pick up some passengers. The dashboard looks good. The coach looks pretty good. I'm not feeling any force feedback on this wheel though. I'm not sure if it's implemented correctly yet. I'll have to check with TML. But I'm not getting any feedback from my G29 wheel, um, which is a bit of a shame because I, I like to feel the, uh, the forces of the wheel. What's this guy stop for? There's plenty of room there, mate. You can easily get through. Let's have a look. What's he pulled for? <laughs> you got you get two passes through there. What are you waiting for? 
Anyway, let's have a look at the outside of the bus. We're in a red light. And uh, people are beeping, I don't know what for. We have to get out of this yard and then uh, get through that red light. We've got a notoriously slow light. And here we go. It's not red again. Let about two cars through. Okay, I have to just be a bit patient. Let's look at this dashboard again so you can see. You've got uh, plenty of dials on it. I can't remember really if you can actually click on any of these dials. I'm not sure. No, that's not doing it. I said this is a notoriously slow light, so we need to hurry up and get over here because we'll be here forever. Looking around. Can I peek, peek from the back? No, my track I want to need the ground wrong, nearly. Still red light. All right, let's change it. Off we go. Let's go through this. We're going to go through it. Yes. Turn right. I do miss the force feedback light. Prefer a force feedback on here. It, God, that that thing is missing. You know, where you feel the, the forces of the road. Have a bit of an outside view. Sounds good, isn't it? Not green light. Yeah, there's force feedback. I actually felt that I felt it touch the curb. So yeah, there isn't force feedback. <laughs> I don't feel it on the road. I don't want to hit the curb, which is a shame because you really need it on the road as well. Luggage compartment. So they're luggage because they do complain that they, they're not open. And uh, let's open the rear door. Let's check them in. Ciao, fahren Sie in meine Richtung? So, we are going to Mannheim. 
There you go. Any more? Oh, there's a few more. Grüezi, bin ich hier durch. Vielen Dank. Okay. Uh, any more passengers? Four more. Mahlzeit. Mein Ticket. Thank you. Danke. Oh, sorry, Barney. Hello. Mein Ticket. Danke sehr. Grüezi. Mein Ticket. Danke schön. Moin. Das ist auf geht's. So they're all in. Uh, let's close the luggage. Ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Make sure it's clear. So off we go. Ich dachte hier gibt es WLAN. Oh yes, Wi-Fi. <coughs> Can't remember the button, sorry. <laughs> I'll have to check in a second. Bus looks excellent. Uh, there's a green pullover guy, matches his bus. So we should Kein be in Mannheim very shortly. What is this with the WLAN? Los? <laughs> they want Wi Fi. I don't know. What's that? What, what is the Wi Fi key? He's complaining about the Wi Fi. So, uh, smartphone, escape P, left mouse, interact. And we did that. Navi zoom Q. So, where's the Wi Fi then, mate? Ah, it must be the comfort class, is it? Wiper, cruise control, fixing brake, hill holder. Begin air condition, begin announcement. Oh, yes. So uh, That's uh, something we need to do. So um, we'll put that there as the announcement. Um, add key. We've got to do the announcement. And um, what do you want? Wi-Fi clearance, you. Okay. So click on back. Okay. Bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Speed 
Zukunftsnachrichten. <lacht> Ups, sollte euer Akku zu Neige gehen? Kein Problem. Viele unserer Sitze sind mit Steckdosen ausgestattet und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt über nutzen. Wenn ihr eure nächste Fahrt auch gleich in die Toilette nicht rein. Holt euch einfach unsere yeah, restroom clearance. Now what, what button is that? Ah. I forgot all the, I forgot all these keys. So where 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 we are? Oh, click on here, comfort class. And um, we got to look for the restroom clearance. So where's that? Um, no, just uh, look left, look right. Oh, I can't see it here. Toggle passenger monitor. Um, we can put that as uh, the key passenger monitor. So we were looking for the restroom clearance, right? That's uh, looks like it's an L, isn't it? Oh, I okay. Um, okay, that looks good. Click accept. Back to game. App und profitiert von exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für okay. Feedback zu eurer Fahrt nutzt bitte den Fragebogen, den wir... <laughs> I think it caused a bit of a jam here. Um, trying to drive the bus from the outside, you see. Let's reverse a bit. Oops, sorry guys. Yeah, sorry about that. Trying to drive an external view. Not recommended. So, what did we say that? Outside again. It's tired. It doesn't look like. It doesn't look like it. It's tired. It's hot. So no. Can't be wrong. Up we go. Towards Mannheim, got 28 kilometers left. Sorry guys, I've got a good view so you can see the bus outside, that's better. Get an external view going. I'm going to do a turn again, without messing up this time. So you can show you how the bus work will move from the outside. That guy's right this time. There's an autopilot, so I can show the external a bit more. I'm trying to drive uh, the coach in this view, very difficult, but I just wanted to give you an idea what it looks like from the outside. So, okay, let's get back inside now. Got 20 kilometers to go. Very quiet. Nice countryside. Not very busy. 
are we doing? Uh, we are doing 88 kilometers an hour, so we're going faster. a passenger key here so I click on settings and click on controls there was um, a key here for uh, I keep getting that wrong toggle worn lights where was it where was it um, switch drivers switch passengers light type one toggle passenger monitor it was that one there so you click on add a key and we'll put down as um, that one so I remember that. Okay. Go back to the game. Well, there's nothing happening here. Okay. That button seems to be doing nothing. Okay. No worries. There's radio as well. There's a radio there, but we I can't put the radio on because uh, YouTube might say that I'm using copyrighted music, so I'll turn it down, but the radio is here. radio on too. Like I said, they're not putting that on. That's the multimedia bit, I think. I've got a full coach today. Oh, these lights are very slow. There you go. I would say I do enjoy this game. I think it's a great um, idea to have a coach simulator, but we do really need this force feedback to be sorted because you know th that is an essential part of of a driving game is to feel the the road, and um, we need to get that inserted correctly or at least working correctly because at the moment it's only happening when I hit the curb. And this seems to be a slight delay when I'm moving off on this coach, but might, might be the correct characteristic of the coach. We're very nearly there now. And see, I went over the curb there, but I didn't get any force feedback like I did earlier, so it's a little bit um, inconsistent with the with that with the force feedback. I mean, so we're very nearly there. Let's have a look at the outside view. So there we are in our coach. Comfort class. Zoom in a bit. And zoom out a bit. Are we on time? No, we're late. <laughs> we're two minutes late. I've been in the traffic lights. They've been so slow. But the graphics are really good on the coach. I forgot to say that. Because they've done a good job on that. It'd be nice to see a little bit um, more animation of people on the roads walking around because it seems a bit, bit de deserted really on these roads. So it'd be nice to see a you know a bit more more action and uh, people walking around, shoppers, you know that sort of thing. But it seems a bit a bit desolate. So here we go. We're approaching Mannheim now, and we have to give way here, and we have to pick up those we'll stop over there on the right hand side, I believe. Wait for him to 
go. Destination reached, Mannheim. Okay, and break on. Okay, so let's get out of the uh, seat, get the passengers out. And uh, there they go. Satisfied customers. So that is the Comfort Class bus. So before we go, we'll have a look at the other versions. I think this is a 519. So before we go, we'll have another look at it. And of course, a traffic jam. But I thought I pulled in. Did they pull in enough? What can you get past there, mate? Plenty of room. That ah, can well within the, the green bar. What are you waiting for? Okay, so we've done that a trip and we've dropped off those passengers and um, now they're just, um, well, they must be waiting for other people because this guy has merged into the other guy behind him too, look. So, okay, uh, let's go out and uh, back to main menu. Click on OK. And uh, let's have a look at another variety of the bus. So if I click on Start Game and click on uh, Career again. And uh, let's go Munich this time. And we're not going to do the trip. We're just going to use the the uh, a different coach. So we uh, let's look at the F S five one seven. Let's click on Start Game. We'll just have a look at that, just to see what it's like. Is there any difference between this one and the one we just dr driven, the five one nine? So here's the other bus. But this is the five one seven. I just want to quickly check this. dashboard looks a little bit smaller if I'm not mistaken but the coach is very very similar to the one we just drove so this is the 517 very very similar and the same uh, door there for the toilet and the rear door so yeah the dashboard looks very similar okay let's go back outside now another look on the outside it's got six wheels okay so let's try and look at one more Uh, click start game again and uh, click career and click next and click realistic so that's the 517 then we've got the 516 and the 516 we'll just have a look at the 516 and then we'll wrap up the video so click on start game quick car loss it always seems to pop up when I'm doing a video <laughs> he's done it again it popped up in the bottom right hand corner you must know when I'm making videos okay so this is the 516 is there any difference between this one um, it looks Slightly different to the front, isn't it? Uh, go inside. And again, the similar dashboard, the 516. Chairs look the same. I uh, can't see a hell of a lot of difference between the, the, the coaches we've driven. They're all very, very similar. So, yeah, that's right. They're all the same. Same coach. In the, and they're all the same in the regards that the. Um, they got the same sort of textures on the seats and the same sort of um, uh, pictures into the doors, etc. Looks good. Well, let's go outside and have another look. So, what do I think of this? Well, I, th I think the coaches are really nicely done. Um, I like driving; very enjoyable. Um, the only problem I have, I think, is uh, the force speed feedback does need to be implemented a bit more. Um, it's only implemented in certain places. And um, like I said, maybe also the roads as well. Sometimes they look a bit too flat. So it should be nice to have a few sort of uneven bits in the road because it looks very, very flat. And um, a bit more people walking around and basically a bit more life on the roads. At the moment, see, there's not many people walking around, which is a shame. Um, but this is a great game and it's a great sim. So. You know, be sure to check it out. Um, we highly recommend. We really enjoy playing it. I hope they're going to add some more stuff to it, like I mentioned just now. And um, 
that will wrap up our, our review here. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to check out our website at pcsimulators.org. And um, subscribe because it does really help us to make more videos. So if you hit the subscribe button and the like button. And of course share our channel. It all helps us make more videos. So on that note, we'll bid you good night. And uh, seeing as it's this Christmas uh, in a few days. Um, we all wish you a Merry Christmas here from PE Simulators. And Happy New Year.